Viktor Volodymyrovich Medvedchuk is a Ukrainian politician, lawyer and business oligarch, People's Deputy of Ukraine from the 29th of August 2019. Medvedchuk served between 2002 and 2005 as Chief of Staff to former Ukrainian President Leonid Kuchma. Currently, Medvedchuk is chairman of the pro-Russia political organization Ukrainian Choice and an opponent of Ukraine joining the European Union. In November 2018, Medvedchuk was elected chairman of the Political Council of the Political Party for Life, which later merged into the opposition platform for Life Party. In the 2019 Ukrainian parliamentary election, the party won 37 seats on the nationwide party list and six constituency seats. As he placed third on the 2019 election list of opposition platform for Life, Medvedchuk was elected to parliament. In Ukraine, Medvedchuk is considered an ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin, whom he has referred to as a personal friend. Putin is the godfather of Medvedchuk's daughter Daryana. On 19 February 2021, the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine included Medvedchuk and his wife, Oksana Marchenko, on the Ukrainian sanctions list. Due to the financing of terrorism, Medvedchuk's father, Volodymyr Medvedchuk avoided being drafted into the Red Army during World War II due to his suffering from pot disease. During Nazi Germany's occupation of Ukraine, he worked for the German administration in a labor camp from April 1942 to November 1943. The section provided enforced deportation of the local able bodied Ukrainian youth to work in Nazi Germany after the retreat of German forces. Volodymyr Medvedchuk was arrested by SMERSH on 7 August 1954 and sentenced to eight years of imprisonment and four of exile in Siberia, for participation in Ukrainian nationalistic activities. Viktor was born in Pershe, Krasnoyarsk Krai, Russian SFSR. He has claimed that his father was member of the Organization of Ukrainian Nationalists. According to his Soviet court indictment, Volodymyr Medvedchuk had joined the counter-revolutionary organization of Ukrainian nationalists in April 1942. In July 1995, Ukraine's military prosecutor's office reviewed the case of Volodymyr Medvedchuk and decided to rehabilitate him, in accordance with Article 1 of the Law of Ukraine of 17 April 1991 on the rehabilitation of victims of political repression in Ukraine. In the mid-1960s, the Medvedchiks returned to the Ukrainian SSR, settling in Konin, Jaitomir Oblast in 1971. Medvedchuk graduated from high school in Borova, Fastevryan. Already, in the summer of 1972, Medvedchuk successfully passed an entrance exam to the law school of KSU Shevchenko. In June of the same year, the court collegiate in criminal cases of the Kyiv city court overturned the verdict of the court of Lenin Ryan and sent the case back for further investigation. In November 1974, the case was closed due to lack of evidence. Medvedchuk was acquitted and reinstated at the university. After graduation, he tried to enroll at the higher school of Militsia, but was rejected due to his family history. He graduated from the Taras Shevchenko National University of Kyiv in 1978 as a lawyer. In 1979, Medvedchuk became a member of the Shevchenkivska Legal Consultation of the Kyiv City Collegiate of Attorneys. In 1979, Medvedchuk was a lawyer for the repressed poet Yuri Lightwin. In his last word on the court, Light One described the work of Medvedchuk as a lawyer on 17 December 1979, the passivity of my lawyer Medvedchuk in defense is not due to his professional profanity, but to the instructions he received from above and his subordination, he does not dare to reveal the mechanism implemented provocations against me. Light One was convicted, and died in prison, according to official documents from the court in Vasikov. Medvedchuk had referred to the incompleteness of the investigation in the case and had asked to cancel the court's verdict and send the case for a new trial. In 1980, Medvedchuk was appointed lawyer in the trial of Vassal Stuz. According to the testimony of people close to Stuz, Stuz refused to be defended by Medvedchuk.
because he immediately felt that Medvedchuk was an aggressive Komsomol type person. He didn't protect him. He didn't want to understand him. And, in fact, he was not interested in his business. Nevertheless, Medvedchuk remained Stu's lawyer despite the protests of his client. According to the Chronicle of Current Events, Medvedchuk's plea at the Stu's trial was as follows. The lawyer said in his speech that all of Stusser's crimes deserve to be punished. But he asks to pay attention to the fact that Stu's, working in 1979-1980 at the Enterprises of Kiev, fulfilled the norm. In addition, he underwent a severe stomach operation. According to Ukrainian lawyers Roman Titikolo and Ilya Koten, Medvedchik seems to have recognized the guilt of his client Stu's during the court case. In doing so, Medvedchik violated his professional duty since he seemed to ref.